what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling, feeling good. good. Today, guys, we're back to give us a new video, guys. Today, my beautiful guest. Peace makeover. My name is Damon, and welcome to the best friend. So, we're going to be reacting to this art is not acceptable in Islam. So, let's know the art and what Islam permits and not yeah. permits. So, let's check it out, guys. You know how to. So, that's why I did react to it. Let's get into this video. If you think that your color, race, your nationality, your tribe, your part of the world is better than others and they are inferior because of that then you cannot be a true believer the prophet muhammad peace be upon him warns us and he says that people are all equal and the only virtue is the piety or connection with your maker which is known only by the maker himself so nobody should ever think for a moment that they are better than another race, another nationality, another part of the world, another village, and so on. My brothers and sisters, I know we might claim that we don't believe that and we might claim we are not racist, but look deep down. There is always room for improvement. Either way, no matter who, no matter where, no matter what, there is always room for improvement. So don't treat people badly based on their color, based on their race, their nationality. This is something that a lot of Muslims actually need to rectify or work on because there is a lot of racism, tribalism, whatever other ism that there is within the Muslim communities. And people do sometimes believe that they are better, their nationality is somehow superior in the eyes of Allah than another. A'udhu Billah, may Allah forbid. Remember, that is jahiliya. It is worse than the period of ignorance. There is no hierarchy in Islam, not at all. Sometimes people use this as an excuse not to marry. They use it as an excuse not to do business. They use it as an excuse to talk badly to. They use it as an excuse to refer in a derogatory manner to another race, another nationality. If you understand the maker and if you really love the maker, you would love everything that maker has made. Don't ever let this ignorance creep into your heart or mind that makes you feel that for some reason you are more entitled, you are better, superior and so on. That is absolutely unacceptable and totally untrue. Well, Islam actually uh, teaches us that uh, there is only uh, one origin for the human race. The Quran often uh, refers to us as Bani Adam, uh, which could mean uh, the children of one man, Adam, or uh, just simply that we are all human beings all together. And uh, the mm -hmm. Quran says, "Inna khalaqna min dhakrin wa unsa." We have surely created you uh, from a male and a female. Wa jalna kum wa qabaila li and we have made you into nations and tribes uh, so that you may know each other. Inna akramakum inda Allahi atqaqum. Certainly the most honorable among you are those uh, who are most aware of their duty. Uh, and this is in the 49th chapter of the Quran in the 11th verse. So you can see in this verse that there is a clear indication that uh, there is no superiority of one human being over another. And, and in the Islamic context, there are two duties. One is the duty to towards God and another is your duty uh, towards God's creatures. If we were to discriminate against anyone based on their social standing, based on their color, their nationality and so on, the fact that they might be financially disadvantaged, if we were to discriminate on those lines, our acts of worship would not be accepted or the reward would be uh, nullified or reduced. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a deep understanding. And today, uh, scientists uh, are very clear that all humans uh, around the globe uh, share 99% uh, of genes in, in common. It is said that one of the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, a, a black person, uh, Bilal, uh, who was very close and dear to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and continues to be very dear to all Muslims worldwide, uh, was uh, uh, insulted by another companion who called him the son of a black woman and the Prophet peace be upon him uh, stepped up to defend him and uh, so uh, uh, rebuked uh, the offender uh, that the offender being a man of faith uh, uh, wanted to make things right so he said to Bilal uh, here is my face on, on the ground just put your boot on my face uh, mm -hmm. just just to make things even but of course Bilal mm -hmm. wouldn't uh, wouldn't do that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him says لا فضل لعربي على عجمي ولا لعجمي على عربي ولا لأبيض على أسود إلا بالتقوى. There is no virtue of an Arab over a non-Arab, and there is no virtue of a non-Arab over an Arab or a white over a black, except by piety, which is only known by the Almighty Himself. So stop it. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala forgive us, strengthen us, and make us from those who really can respect everyone. Yes. People will be slightly different in their culture. They will be different in their habits. They may be different slightly in the way they speak, the way they come across, the languages they use. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about it in the Quran. Do you know what he says? Ya nasu inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila lita'arafu in Surah Al Hujurat, Allah says, O people, I have created you from a single male and a female, Dhakarin wa Untha, and from the two of them, we made you, we made you, we created you into various tribes and peoples, different clans and different, you know races etc in order that you recognize one another just to recognize one another to be able to identify each other so allah created every human different for identification purposes your iris your thumbprint and so many other differences it's for you to be recognized imagine if everyone was exactly the same life would be so boring but Allah says we made you different colors sure. and sizes and shapes and nationalities or in fact races and so on. At that time, nationalities was not really applicable. But my brothers and sisters, guess what Allah says? Inna akramakum indallahi atqakum. Indeed, the most honored in the eyes of Allah is the one who has the best relationship with Allah. And indeed, who knows that? The very, very end of that verse, Allah says, Inna Allah alimun khabir. Allah is the one who is all-knowing. He is the one who knows absolutely everything. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us true believers. True believers. If Allah is special in your heart, anything that he made should be special in your heart. I like this video. I'm going to give you 90% guys. Thumbs up. Yeah. I really like it. Uh, I love how it's emphasized more about like racism, cultural, nationality. People discriminate people in lots a lot because of that um, it's it's very very alarming it's very very bad mm. because someone does not have the same skin tone with you does not mean the person is different from you um, you speak English I speak English too <laughs> what differentiates us is just the skin color so you are white and fair I'm dark does not mean we are different in the sight of Allah in the sight of God he, he made all of us and the way we all have different um, thumbprints each and everyone Everyone around the world have different thumbprints. He made everyone different. So, everyone can't be the same thing. And I like how they emphasize on that and how um, Prophet Muhammad also rebuked that. Like, Prophet Muhammad was like, no, don't do that. He's among them because everyone is together. Everyone is, is accepted unto God. So you don't have to discriminate someone because the person is black or because the person is um, Chinese or the person is any other, any other um, skin tone because you yourself, uh, you feel like uh, you, you are more many, uh, you guys are the same color. Why does this one, it's like a stain. Yeah. You know, like a stain, come stain that, um, that part. It's, I don't see people differently. 
um, I don't see people like this people are different in Indians. I'll be like, oh, this people, they're kind of like black and so on their feet. Uh, why are they, they are kind of like similar in some way, their way of speaking and also their facial expression. Most of them are all kind of like identical. Also Chinese people, kind of like identical. These people are different. You get that, uh, have that different mentality. I'll be like, these people are different, but I would like to know more. I don't see like, no, 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 get out, get out, I don't, I don't, I don't, I've never done that before. I've never discriminated people who are like, oh, you yeah, are like this. No, you gotta, gotta, gotta don't talk to you. I don't because of your skin, so because of, your, because of your, um, the way you speak and because of your culture, I don't do that. So, um, I feel like in the sight of God, we are all one. We are all brothers, we are all sisters, we are family. So, He made us all together. The way we have different languages is the same way we have different skin tones, this different eye, like at the color of our eye. Some people have brown, some people have. Um, yeah, blue, so yeah. Blue. So we are all different, but we all we all came from the same God, the same Creator who created everyone. We are all together. So um, I love how this video itself speak more about racism. Uh, like the way I truly like this video. Like <laughs> let me say, this video itself should I use like people who is fighting against racism and stuff watch this video. But like uh, I like this religion. I would love to know more. This is something like you you read to way people to you. Because if people know you are you are not in support of um discrimination, that's what I love about Muslim. I keep on even if I watch this video, I know that Muslim don't discriminate. Muslim have that bond, like we are family, we are one. So I don't know about some Muslim because the guy was like some Muslim also discriminate. I don't know about that, but the Muslim who have associated myself with they are all like, come to God, come, 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 come take this, come do this. We are the bond, we like, we are one. So, um, for that, this, that's why, you know, like, a Muslim friend on this community, uh, we are friends. So, this video itself is, is very fascinating. This video itself was, I'm glad I watched it. I'm really, really glad. Uh, now I know the point of view, and now I know Mohammed said it, but I know that God said we are all one in his eye. Now I know um, the story of Mohammed just um, shunning some of his um, followers who was discriminating against another black. Now I know that story. I'm being enlightened and I truly like this video, sincerely speaking. What do you think? When it comes to discrimination, it goes a long way. Like, when I left my country, I never knew there was national discrimination because of nationality and stuff. I never knew there was a discrimination like that because Back to my country, no one do this. Uh, I'm from different countries. Even if I'm to meet someone from a different country, I don't look at them like I have to discriminate them because I'm not from my country. But leaving my own country and coming to another country, I got this, you are not our people. I got that kind of energy, that kind of vibe. And it felt very bad. It felt very uncomfortable because I've never experienced that in my own place. I've never done that to someone else. So being treated that way, I felt very hot so when it comes to nationality treatment i've gotten that and then this um tribalism is is something that needs to be talked about a lot more people tend to treat you differently sorry when you're from a different tribe they don't like or you don't speak the language they tend to give you a different treatment and it's, it's very bad i feel we should all treat someone normal she treats people with love like they don't have to come from where you are there are millions and thousands of different tribes there are thousands of there are hundreds of different countries and different skin tone you can't just choose who to discriminate just because the person does not look like you or don't speak the same language as you you cannot meet everyone that talk like you that's why we are all different if we're all the same it will be very boring so we need to like the difference. I would love to travel to different countries to enjoy that culture because it's the difference that makes us who we are. If you're going to discriminate people because of that same difference, then who are you? What makes you you if your difference is not what makes us who we are, guys? I just feel we should all tend to accept each other. When it comes to racism, it's happened to literally anyone, even the whites get discriminated, people from different nationality, they get discriminated. I just I just hope we let love lead.
we should all be open. We should be open to new things. We should be open to different people, different kind of religion, different kind of skin tone, different kind of nationalities and different kind of tribe. We should we should be open to people we meet and we should stop this rag or I'm richer than this person. Stop making people feel inferior around you. Just show love. Love will take it a long and beautiful place, honestly speaking. So guys, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video guys. Many of us can subscribe to the channel. You guys know how to do it. See you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay. See you. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales on.